The organelles are microscopic structures inside the cell that are specialized in shape and structure to carry out many important cell functions. They're basically keeping cells alive, just like the much larger organs and organ systems of the human body are keeping us alive. Most organelles are often described as being membrane bound, which means they are surrounded by one or two membranes. These membranes provide most of the structure of the organelles. The organelles that I'll describe in this video are the ribosomes, the only non-membrane bound organelle, the endoplasmic reticulum, abbreviated as the ER, which consists of two types, rough and smooth ER, and the Golgi complex, also called the Golgi body or Golgi apparatus. I'll discuss the rest of the organelles, such as the lysosomes, peroxisomes, and mitochondria in the next video. The ribosomes are an exception to the other organelles since they don't consist of membranes. They are instead ultramicroscopic particles made of proteins and ribosomal RNA, abbreviated rRNA. They're found scattered through the cytoplasm as free ribosomes or as bound ribosomes attached to the membranes of the rough ER. They can also be found as polyribosome bodies where they are grouped in clusters consisting of multiple ribosome complexes. Ribosomes are made by the nucleolus, which is located inside the cell's nucleus. They're produced in two subunits, the large and small subunits, which leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores and enter the cytoplasm where they're assembled into a functional ribosome. The ribosomes function as the sites or locations of protein synthesis. They are where the amino acids are assembled together in the growing polypeptide chain, which is the newly formed protein. The various nooks, crannies, and pockets of the ribosome, such as the A, P, and E sites, help align the amino acids as the protein is assembled and create spaces for transfer RNA, or tRNA, molecules to carry amino acids from the cytoplasm to the growing protein strand. A major organelle of the endomembrane system, the internal membrane system of the cell, is the endoplasmic reticulum, abbreviated ER. The word endoplasmic refers to it being located within the cytoplasm, and reticulum means a complex network of membrane tubules forming a maze-like structure throughout the cytoplasm. The overall surface area coverage of the ER is quite extensive, and it has a strong association with the membranes of the nuclear envelope. There are a lot of important communication and transport functions between the nucleus and the ER. There are two types of ER, rough and smooth. The rough ER has a rough appearance due to the ribosomes that are embedded within its membrane. The smooth ER lacks ribosomes, giving it a smooth outer appearance than the bumpy appearance of the rough ER. Both ERs function as biochemical synthesis factories. The ribosomes on the rough ER play a major role in protein synthesis. The rough ER accepts the protein into its tubules and then processes and modifies the protein before it packages it in a transport vesicle and sends it into the cytoplasm. Think of the rough ER like a protein-making factory that is manufacturing and processing proteins for delivery within the cell. The rough ER doesn't do much secretion, with most of its products staying in-house inside the cell. The smooth ER lacks ribosomes and functions in lipid and carbohydrate synthesis. Think of lipids like oils and membrane phospholipids having a smooth consistency to help you remember this biosynthesis function of the smooth ER. The smooth ER is also a detoxification center, helping to neutralize alcohols and process various pharmaceuticals from the body. Another major organelle of the endomembrane system is the Golgi complex. It also consists of membranes but they have a different shape than the membranes of the ER. 
The Golgi membranes consist of a stack of flattened sacs called cisterns, which resemble pancakes or pita bread, having an interior space called the lumen that is able to transfer the various protein products from one membrane to the next. The Golgi complex has a direct relationship with the ER. The side of the Golgi that is facing the ER is called the entry face or cis face. Cis means it's on the same side as the ER. It is the receiving membrane of the Golgi, taking in the various products of protein synthesis from the ER's transport vesicles. The vesicle membranes fuse with the Golgi membrane, and the cisterns then modify and process the protein, putting it into its functional shape. They then send the protein out of the Golgi through the exit face, or trans face. Trans means across. The Golgi packages the protein into a secretory vesicle, which usually exports the protein out of the cell through exocytosis. The Golgi plays a big role in exporting products into the tissue fluid, bloodstream, and ducts. Think of the Golgi complex like Amazon, which takes in products from industries, warehouses the products, organizes them, receives orders from customers who want the product, and then packs and ships the product out to the world. This is essentially what the Golgi complex is doing in the cell. There is a lot of secretion of enzymes, hormones, neurotransmitters, mucus, and a variety of other chemicals out of the cell. But the Golgi is also helping to assemble the various membrane proteins in the cell membrane. The secretory vesicle moves to and fuses with the cell membrane and embeds the protein, such as a carrier or channel protein, or maybe a glycoprotein marker, into the membrane structure.